Manok plus manual collet chuck. Now this is a really versatile piece of work holding, extremely accurate for free axis and fifth axis machines. Now, what kind of applications do you believe that this lends itself to? Well, the great thing about the Manok Geo is that, as you can see, it accepts the same collets that you're using on the lathe. So what we can do is, it's cheap fixturing if you like, we can take the collets off, off the lathe, use them on here for a three or a five axis application, hey presto, we've got a, we've got a work holding device for a machining centre. However, one of the beauties of this is, we can now take the collet out, as you would in the turning environment, and then we've got a Mando Adapt, which if you look on the bottom here, has got a zero point. And this is designed to sit in here within five microns. So, we put it straight in. And hey presto, we've got a mandra attachment where we can hold internally. I mean, that, that flexibility is, is absolutely phenomenal for the, the right applications. I mean, you've got this expanding mandra. Now, this is also machinable as well if you had to have a, a, a hold on an inside shoulder, for example. Absolutely, you can hold on two diameters if you want. You can have a step bush. You can have what you like. And, you know, while this is a round bush, it doesn't necessarily have to be round. We can hold all sorts of different shapes. So if I was looking to do, let me just think of a, an, a, a gear, yeah. This would be perfect to hold it internally, wouldn't it, Absolutely. Dave? Absolutely, and you can also hold on a spline in here as well. And one of the beauties is you can alter the pressure by this geo, so you know, you're not going to crush the part, you can hold it to the exact pressure you want to. So how do you do that, by a torque wrench? Torque wrench, yeah, yeah. generally. So in regards to the, the, the modular system that you have here and, and, and putting it onto the three and fifth axis machines, you also have zero point systems that this actually fit onto as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can have a sub table with a zero point location on the bottom and this mounted to the table. So in effect, you could lift the whole lot off, put something else on and then put this back and it's zero point, you got full repeatability. And going back to the collets, mm. you know, what's the repeatability of, 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 if, say, for example, you've got an hexagon here, but if you're holding finished round bar, what's the kind of repeatability, accuracy and clamping force? Well, the, the key to the repeatability is always in the setup. If, if it's been set up correctly, it's fine. But, you know, we would expect somewhere, somewhere between five microns or better. And what's the kind of minimum depth that you need to hold to be able to clamp it securely? On our chuck, and it applies not just to the manual chuck, but to the, uh, the chucks that we put on the turning machines, it's a minimum of three millimetres, but it's from the front of the chuck. So let me show you. Once I've got the collet in here, Geo, we're not talking three millimetres from the front here, because clearly this is outside the chuck. So three millimetres from the front of the chuck, preferably to an end stop, which you can put in the Manoc Plus as well, and you can hold on three millimetres without it spitting it out. And that is very impressive. It's now, in regards to the range, uh -huh. you know, size of, of bars, you know, what, does, what, what is the range? Well, the range really for us starts at 32 mil. We go 32, 42, 52, 65, 80, 100, and then up from that we can go 125 to 160 size right. chuck. And what's the smallest bar that you can hold? Well, for us, really, you're looking at 32 millimetre for a collet chuck. But frankly, our, you know, the most popular sizes appear to be 52, 65 and 80, generally. Well, I'm looking forward to see some of these Mannix out in the field and, and see how some of your end users are using them. Thank you very much for the interview, Dave. You're more than welcome, Geo. More than welcome. Good to see you. And you.